Okay, the next thing we're going to do here is take our power outlets that we added in our last lesson and create some circuits. So what we'll do is we can click on here and because this is not currently in a circuit, if it was, it would say edit circuit in here. We can just hit the power button, boom. That turns that into just a kind of a single element circuit, not tied to a panel and not given a circuit name, but it, it is an unnamed circuit. So what I'm going to do here is say edit circuit. And now I can say add and I can go around and add these guys. And go in. That's it. Finish. Now I can hover over here, tab, click. There's my circuit. Okay, so we can do the same thing inside of here. And all I'm going to do is use a control button right now on my keyboard and hit my power button. Boom. Turns that into a circuit. Thank you very much. Moving right along. Okay, so we'll come back uh, in about two minutes after I've created all these circuits. And I'm just going to do the corridor one last. Using my control button and my mouse clicker. That one's already in a different circuit. So there's my corridor ones. I hit the power button. And that's done. Okay, so I've got if I hover over here, tab, there's a circuit, hover over here, tab, there's a circuit, hover over here, tab, there's a circuit. So basically, you group them all together and you hit your power button, and, and then it creates a circuit. Now, after the fact, if you click on here and hit tab and click, and you want to add or remove, create some wires, uh, we just say edit circuit. Once we're inside of here, we can add things to the circuit, remove things. We can assign a panel. Okay, we can select a panel by clicking on it or picking it off of a list. You can also go look at the properties of the um, circuit itself. When you're done, you either hit cancel or finish, finish editing, and there's our circuit. So um, our outlets are in and positioned and our circuits have been established.